Today, we are going to order numbers. There's no new vocabulary, so we're going to jump right into example number one. Yesterday, we compared two numbers. Today, we are going to order a group of numbers. So here are some of the NBA assist leaders. And we need to list the NBA assist leaders in order from greatest to least. To do this, I'm going to use a place value chart. Here we go. It's important when I'm putting these in order that I make sure I put all the digits in the correct place value spot. You'll notice Chris Paul has 6,944 assists, so he hasn't made it to 10,000, so I wouldn't put anything in the 10,000 spot. So I'm going to start in the 1,000 spot with 6,944. John Stockton had 15,806. Steve Nash, 10,355. Jason Kidd, 12,091. And LeBron James, 6,301. Now that I have these in my place value chart, it's much easier for me to figure out the order of greatest to least. I'm going to start with my greatest place value spot, the 10,000s. And three of them have a 1 in the 10,000 spot. So those are going to be our three greatest. The other two haven't made it to 10,000 yet. Since all of them have the same digit, we need to move on to our thousands place. We have a 5, 0, and 2. 5 is the greatest, which means that John Stockton will be the greatest. So I'm going to put a number 1 next to his name. Second would be the 2, which is Jason Kidd. Then 0 would be third, which is Steve Nash. Now that we've made it through these three, we need to figure out who's fourth and fifth. So neither of those other two have made it to 10,000. So we're going to look at the thousands place. They both have a 6. So we need to look at the hundreds, where Chris Paul has a 9 and LeBron has a 3. 9 is greater, which makes Chris Paul 4th and LeBron James 5th. So I'm going to write these in order, because my instructions were to list the NBA assist leaders in order from greatest to least. It's always important to make sure we know if it's greatest to least or least to greatest. We don't want to accidentally write it backwards and get it wrong. So I'm going to abbreviate John Stockton as JS because I don't have a lot of room here. So John Stockton was the greatest at 15,806. Second, Jason Kidd with 12,091. Steve Nash, 10,355. Chris Paul currently has 6,944, and LeBron James has 6,301. That's the end of my first example. Here's one more. I need to order the numbers from least to greatest. Here's my numbers. 27,456. 72,654, and 25,746. So I could put these in a place value chart. This time I'm just going to look at the first digit. I notice that they all go to the 10,000s place, so I can compare those. So we have a 2, 7, and 2. 7 the greatest. And this time we're ordering them from least to greatest, so greatest is going to be at the end. So I'm going to write 72,654. Now I still have two numbers left. They both had a 2 in the 10,000 spot. So if we go to the thousands, we have a 7 and a 5. Seven's greater, which means that will be in the middle. 27,456, 
56, and which makes the least 25,746. And double check to make sure they're least to greatest, and they are. So I'm done with my two examples. Now I have two for you to try and to check. Here's your first practice problem. Order the numbers from greatest to least. Your three numbers are 1,293, 962, and 1,239. Pause this and unpause it to check your work. Okay. The greatest is 1,293, middle is 1,239, and the least is 962. Here's your second practice problem. Order the numbers from least to greatest. Your numbers are 71,789, 72,645, and 55,721. Pause it and unpause to check your work. least is 55,721, middle is 71,789, and the greatest is 72,645. Okay, if you feel good with those, let's move on to the problems you'll bring to class tomorrow. Number one, order the NBA points leaders from greatest to least. Pause it. When you're done, move on to number two. Okay, last problem for the day. Order the numbers from least to greatest. Your numbers are 17,258, 17,125, and 17,000. 593. Thank you for listening. Good job today, and have a wonderful night.